Thank you guys. Uh, thanks for everybody coming in. Uh, really appreciate everybody taking some time today. I know, uh, you know, our, our time is, is not our own uh, for sure these days. So appreciate everybody coming in. Uh, really today is, uh, you know, all about securing PII for financial services companies uh, and, you know, specifically uh, a lot in the credit union uh, case here today. But as we know, in financial services, PII is, a, is uh, uh, certainly a, a hot topic. Um, we today uh, will really take more of a solution-based uh, look at, uh, you know, from market trends and what's going on uh, as it relates to PII in, in, in the FinServe community uh, and be able to, we have a, a very strong, um, uh, just overall, we have a very strong uh, use case around PII and then uh, several, you know, thought leaders and leaders within the space to go over, uh, you know, not only what the market is, but also uh, some solutions uh, to this specifically. So uh, today, uh, we have a few speakers. Uh, I'll be hosting. My name is Eric Swain. I work with Domo. Uh, I've been in the analytics community for about 17 years. Uh, I run a technology association as well down in the Carolinas. Uh, I've been doing that uh, for the better part of the last 10 years. Uh, so this is near and dear to my heart. This is really more of an educational uh, look into the world of, of PII uh, and the challenge there is therein. Uh, we'll have Suyesh Karki, uh, which is our CISO here at Domo, uh, really driving the point home and what the value is of really understanding and being able to still analyze PII data. Uh, Jude Mark uh, is one of our senior solutions consultants here at Domo, uh, and he is uh, he also worked for Credit Union uh, and has a lot of uh, familiarity uh, with uh, the challenges, of course, uh, that they face. Uh, we also have uh, Matt Fleck, founder and CEO of Anonymatic uh, and uh, PII Vault, uh, which is a solution. They're a tech partner uh, here at Domo as well, and a solution um, uh, with uh, and for, obviously, this PII challenge. We have Tony Merrill uh, and Jason Rice, also from Merge, uh, and they'll be speaking about, you know, the implementation side, and they've got a very custom uh, demo that we're going to walk through. Uh, so that is really uh, what we, in terms of the speakers that we have today, quick agenda guys, so we just know what we're walking through. Um, I'll give a brief overview, just really fast about Domo. Um, Jude's going to jump in, talk about uh, the current challenges and the trends uh, specific to the industry. Uh, Merge will come in, they'll obviously introduce themselves uh, and have a customized demo uh, to show the power of uh, the Domo platform with PII security enabled. Uh, introduction from Anonymatic and Matt will come in and really show uh, the ease of use around PII Vault uh, and how that can be implemented. Uh, and then uh, we'll have a, a brief demo of that as well. And then ultimately, uh, Suyesh uh, Karki, our CISO, will come in and just uh, describe the value. Uh, if there are any questions, uh, please put those in the Q&A. Uh, more than likely, we will address those, of course, at the end uh, and uh, be able to walk through as many as we can and use the specific, um, you know, expert that we have on the uh, Zoom call today to walk through that. So thanks again for everybody uh, coming. This really, this idea uh, was brought about by one of our uh, uh, strongest clients in the credit union world, Texas Tech Credit Union, helped us to really look at the use case uh, and what challenges they were having in PII uh, specifically. So kudos to them and thanks to them for, uh, you know, really being able to sit down with us uh, so we could hone in on what this looks like. Uh, so without uh, further ado, uh, just ultimately real quick on Domo, we are a fully uh, managed self-service BI platform. So uh, we are going to really look at, we're traded on the NASDAQ. Uh, we service many different uh, dozens and dozens of financial services uh, companies uh, that of course have PII challenges. Uh, so we're gonna walk through again, uh, just what that looks like today. I'm gonna kick it over first uh, to Jude uh, and he is going to walk through the market trends. And then again, if you have any questions, please do put them in the Q&A se section and we will take it from there. And thanks again, everyone. Hey, good morning, everyone. Thank you, or oh, afternoon for those of us on the East Coast and 
probably morning if you as we as we head further west. Um, but definitely thank you for joining us today. We're really excited to share some of this information with you and really um, walk through some of the challenges, not just for the financial service industry, but just for business as a whole. Um, like Eric said, our company focuses on VI as a platform and creating business solutions, right? Not just visualization, not just reporting. And this is why you see the metric you see in front of you here is because it's not just about having a pretty picture, but it's also about being able to connect your data, setting up the right governance and security so that the right data gets to the right people, right? And then also being able to pull all that together and transform that data so that you could eventually then analyze and actually get to the point of growth and doing predictions, doing collaboration with your teammates and even extending your data bringing it back out to your clients, back out to the people that it really matters to. So we're gonna dive into that today a little bit. There, there are a couple of slides after this that really kind of dig into you know, each of these areas. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on those. You will have access to this deck, right? After this meeting, we'll definitely share it out and we're happy to kind of answer some questions that you have there. Uh, but what I wanna focus on right now, Eric, if you could continue to the, um, to the uh, next slides is the specific issues that credit unions are facing and that are they're dealing with, right? So currently right now in the industry, you have several things going on and several trends that are really important to how financial services, credit unions, small community banks um, really have to deal with what's going on. So just, just really quick, my background actually comes from that industry at first. You know, I started off um, working for BB&T. Now, you know, we, after this merger, now it's Truist, right? And then I've also, uh, did uh, done a lot of work for a credit union that's in, in Virginia Beach, Chartway Federal Credit Union. At that time, they were about $2 billion, you know, going through several mergers. And I helped and worked as their director of, um, of, of data analytics and um, really did a lot of the reporting and work with them to really try to create what we have now, essentially, right? Uh, so from that background and just with my work with Delmo, we've been able to kind of see a lot of the things that, that credit unions and small community banks are dealing with. Because you got to remember the bigger guys, right? The Bank of Americas and you know the U.S. banks; these guys have entire departments dedicated to this stuff in-house, right? That is just that's that's just par for the course for them, right? But as a small community bank, as a credit union, our value has been trying to just bring as much as we can, not to shareholders but to our consumers, which sometimes does limit what we can do, right? From an in-house perspective, so having a tool that is flexible, that is comfortable, that is easy to use, right? And that's key, right? Not having to have a full, you know, IT department with programmers and developers is going to be key. And this is what Domo brings you. So right now, if you're looking at this, you're gonna probably be able to pick up on several things that are happening in the industry right now. Customer intelligence. Right now, everybody's on their phone. Any data, any information you could get on your customers to help better target, to help better bring them the right tools is going to be useful, right? Domo is able to help us do that because what we're now able to do is take all the information from within your systems, whether it's mortgage information, transactions information, ACH information, debit credit card transactions, bring all that in. And now you can actually form a true view of who your customer is without having to outsource that, in, that information or um, put it out in a space where it might be insecure, right? So the next, if you go to the next one also, here are some of the other trends that are going on right now and that Domo has specifically helped with. Like we mentioned, the personal digital experience, we're now able to bring automated machine learning and artificial intelligence into your data, right? On a, from an automatic basis, not having to hire specific data scientists and being able to have that information there with you. Driving efficiency, uh, especially in your teller lines, in your ATM work and in those different things. Regulatory compliance with NCUA, creating that call report in a much more automated fashion. Your um, asset liability management reporting, creating that in a much more automated fashion. And just processing your automation and, and things in the back end, right? As we know, you know, this industry generally has data from multiple vendors. You may have a specific vendor for your mortgage. Maybe it's FIS or something like that, right? You, uh, maybe it's mortgage bot. You may have another specific vendor for your core. It could be a Jack Henry. It could be a DNA Pfizer or in, in, any of those varieties. But having to process all that back and forth along with your credit card provider, maybe something from PSCU, is something that can really drive um, inefficiencies at times. And Domo's capabilities and bringing and bringing all this together makes this so much much easier. So we're definitely looking forward to helping you with that and answering any questions you may have as it relates to that. Thanks, Eric. 
Yeah, great. Thank you, Jude. Appreciate setting the tone here for us. Uh, so, yeah, moving on. Uh, you know, we are. Uh, I'd like to again introduce uh, our uh, individuals here, of course, from Merge. So I'm going to turn it over to you guys now, and uh, just make sure uh, if you need anything on my end, if you need me to move faster, just let me know. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Eric. Uh, my name is Tony Merrill. And I am here with my colleague, Jason Rice. Uh, we come to you from Merge. Uh, Merge, we are a marketing agency that combines storytelling and technology uh, to kind of promote the health, wealth, and happiness across the world. A large part of that technology uh, you know, pillar is our partnership with Domo. Um, and what that, what that does is it allows us to do an implementation with customers on the Domo platform and, and handle that sensitive data. A lot of customers that we've worked with on the agency side are, are very large and we are accustomed to working with uh, enterprises that have sensitive data. So from the health perspective, you know, the medical field, we have a lot of big names. Um, obviously the financial services is, is that second pillar of, of wealth um, and then happiness, the consumer products and services. Uh, that we combine. Now, when we're working with Domo, um, we, we are handling, you know, all aspects of data that contain sensitive information. Um, Domo has a lot of different ways to handle sensitive information. And we want to walk you through a demo of just one, one way that we can handle PII data. Uh, so Jason, I'll, I'll turn it over to you for the demo. Yeah, perfect. Thanks, Tony. Hi everyone, excited to be here. As Tony said, my name is Jason Rice. I'm a business intelligence consulting director with Merge. And as we start to jump into the demo here, there are two key things we wanna focus on and highlight. First of all, as we've said, Domo is a secure environment. It has tools in place to make it a safe platform to store and report on data that may contain PII. So having said that, where does an automatic fit in? Anonymatic fits in by making the process simpler, a step safer, and probably a step more secure. Anonymatic does that by taking our PII process workflow a step upstream. So we're not even bringing the PII data into Domo and exposing it to potential risk. So how does what does that look like inside the Domo platform? And let me share my screen. and actually show you what we're talking about here. So on the left, we have a typical type, typical pipeline with PII. And pipeline with PII is a little bit hard to say fast. So I'll try to say it slower. But anyway, typical pipeline with PII, non-anonymized. It's also difficult to say fast. Anyway, accounts by product. So we've identified our core accounts, our credit cards, and our mortgages. These, this, the numbers represent the number of accounts we have. So let's take a deeper dive. What do we have as details for our core accounts? Let's use Domo's drill path ability to go a step deeper. Within our core accounts, we have some savings accounts. We have CDs, checking accounts, more savings accounts. Again, everything we've identified as core accounts. But what make up the detail of those core accounts? So savings as our largest slice of the pie. Let's take a deeper look there. So now we're down to the granular detail level. And what you might notice pretty quickly is we're gonna see some things here that need to be dealt with. So we have social security numbers exposed, we have email addresses in raw form, we have names, we've got some addresses, we've got phone numbers. Again, Domo is a safe, secure platform that can deal with this. Anonymatic helps us by, basically we don't bring this information into Domo in the first place. So what does that mean and how does, how does that help us on the Domo front? So let's step over to the right side. At the top level, everything is gonna look the same. You're gonna see the same chart type, you're gonna see the same numbers, and we're gonna have the same drill path. So again, savings accounts at, we have 10,000 saving, savings accounts. Let's take a step further into that. And when we drill in now, instead of 
exposed PII, what we're going to see is the poly anonymous ID. So unique identifiers that still identify these individuals and allow us to report on them, but in a very safe, secure format. So we can step back up and take a look at a similar scenario, but let's look at our account balances. Again, looking at our summary numbers, we can see the data is exactly the same. So at an aggregate level, we have the same balances. And then if we start to look at our uh, three pillars again, the mortgage, the core accounts, and the credit cards, we have this segmented out by different product types. The data matches across. So the non-anonymatic data, the anonymatic data, it looks the same, it reads the same, we have the same values. But again, what we'll see when we jump into the conventional mortgages at a detail level is again, this is safe and anonymized. We didn't have to do this in Domo, this was done upstream. It's really important because as soon as this data comes into Domo upon ingest, it's safe, it's secure, we don't have to worry about exposing PII, we can hand this over right now to our reporting analyst and let them do their job without the intermediary governance step. So we can step back up, get back up to our summaries. Another thing these the anonymized IDs allow us to do is link information, link and aggregate information. So what do I mean by that? Right now, we have data sets to support our core accounts, our credit cards, and our mortgages. By linking the anonymized IDs that Anonymatic provides us, we can actually start to aggregate this information and see how everything rolls together. So on the left, we have average total household balance by state. So the household ID is generated based on the address. So using the address in an automatic, we create an ID that links uniquely to a household level. So in Texas, for example, one of our larger states by balance, we can click in, things will filter down to the state level. But let's get more granular. Let's take a look at the city of Austin. See everything's filtering, give it a couple seconds to spin through here. So within Austin, we're at the household level. We, we can now recognize we have 25 distinct households within Austin, and this is their product mix. This single line represents the household with the highest account balance based on the poly anonymous ID. So if we click into that, we can actually see for one household, the account mix. And what's interesting is not only can we see this at the household level, but we have seven different savings accounts associated with this house. So we can click and go one step further. And these are the actual individual accounts that can be attributed to the individuals within the household. So we can get really granular while also going the other direction and having high level roll ups. So it allows us to basically step back and forth through our data at a lot of different levels and look at it slice and dice in a lot of different ways. So with that, I will let Tony speak to key points and takeaways from our Domo experience. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, I think, I think to wrap it up, um, you know, this solution with an automatic, it helps secure your PII data. Um, and it helps to kind of introduce these universal keys to enable more detailed insights across the different product groups at the household level and really focuses on kind of the detail that you need. Uh, it simplifies the whole process of the, of the data anonymization. It kind of gives you that unified view of your performance. Ultimately, this helps you uh, with, with the growth and truly understanding uh, you know, customer, the full customer experience. Um, you know, across across your business. Uh, in addition, it helps to reduce the cost of governance um, that is that is entailed of having a HIPAA compliant instance and all these other situations um, that that could incur a lot of governance cost, including the risk of having you know PII and securing it in Domo without something like a a uh, anonymatic tool. 
And then finally, it helps with that operational efficiency to be able to know that the data that's inside Domo doesn't even contain uh, personally identified information, um, helps you to build dashboards for the operations uh, that you need and for the different departments that need to see this information without ever exposing that information across your organization. So with that, uh, you know, that concludes kind of the demo piece of PII. I'll turn it over to Anonymatic uh, to explore, you know, how the PII tool works. Great. Um, yeah, thank you, Jason. Thank you, Tony. Uh, I am going to definitely introduce again, Matt Fleck, uh, CEO, co-founder here of Anonymatic. Uh, and uh, we are also going to walk through um, who they are. So uh, let's, I'll, I'll uh, turn it over here to Matt. Matt, are you on mute? Just make it. I, I was, but am no longer. Thank you. I just said <laughs> our lives there. Too. Uh, <laughs> no, no worries. Uh, yep. Sorry. Go ahead, Matt. Okay, great. All right. Thank you very much. I want to just take a couple of minutes and introduce an automatic to everybody. Um, from the standpoint that for most systems that are out there around the world, having personal identifiable information in them is a cost of doing business. It is a rather large pain to have to deal with it, especially with the growing list of compliance obligations. As opposed to that anonymatic, we are 100% focused on PII. That is all we do. It is our mission in life to take those pains away from our customers. The company itself was, was formed in 2018. We were renamed anonymatic last year. And we have been a very proud and happy Domo partner since April of this year. However, our technology is actually based on over six years of research and development in very highly regulated uh, environments. When you utilize the PII vault, our software and our solution is installed on-prem with inside your infrastructure and behind your own firewall. And while we do collect PII and it is stored within the PII vault. We start with industry standard protection techniques. And on top of that, we have some cutting edge patent pending technology to the point where we believe that the PII that is stored in the PII vault is going to be the most secure uh, data that you have inside your organization. If you think that's gonna take a long time to set up and configure, we actually are following the Domo model of keeping everything as quick and simple as possible. So to install and configure the PII vault from your IT staff is, is typically less than 15 minutes of time and a very simple cookie cutter, step, 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 you've got it installed and you're ready to go. The value that we provide to our customers is that we enable data to be automatically anonymized or you can mask it and make that data, render that data safe before you use it or share it. With Domo specifically, that anonymized data can be seamlessly anonymized and loaded into Domo and then used inside Domo as if it were fully identified. What this gets you right off the bat, as was just being referred to, is it can we greatly reduce or maybe even completely eliminate your data privacy compliance obligations. Many of those obligations do not apply to anonymous data. So if that data has been anonymized through the PII vault, it is automatically easier to use and, and safer. Once that data is in Domo, especially when it comes from different systems, it wouldn't be a whole lot of use unless we were able to provide the means that you can join that data as we just saw in that great demo from Merge at the individual level. And we do that without any PII whatsoever inside of Domo. Now, as opposed to big, expensive, cumbersome, laborious platform systems that try to oversee everything on all the data inside your organization, we are an API-based solution. So you can use the capabilities that you need and there's no additional overhead for the things that you don't need. And most importantly, the PII never leaves your infrastructure. The PII vault resides inside your infrastructure. 
There are no screens, no reports, no analytics within the vault. All it does is protect your PII. There's a couple of web links below, one to our website and another one to, to Domo's write-up that'll provide a step-by-step -step process of how you can set up, configure, and use the PII vault within Domo. So in talking about or talking with credit unions and other financial institutions, and actually lots of companies across the entire spectrum, there's some common pain points. Many times there is data that resides in different systems coming from different, um, you know, different organizations or managing different product lines. If you want to combine that data and use it for analytics or any sort of data science, it's near impossible to do unless you include the PII and that always has the compliance. With credit union specifically, what are some of the things you'd love to do with this disparate source data? Householding, number one, that's what we keep on hearing. Doing the product mix analysis, marketing, three very strong cases that are difficult without uh, you know, using PII today. Next, please. So what would you like from a solution that can solve these problems for you? First off, it's got to be, it's got to seamlessly and consistently anonymize data from all sources. What do we mean by consistently anonymized? If you use current methodologies to anonymize data, that renders it, as we refer to it, as dumb anonymous data. You can't do much with it. When you anonymize data through the PII vault, it stays smart, it stays usable, you can operationalize that. The next thing is it's got to load automatically into Domo, and then you can combine it. The steps to, to accomplish this, and I'll show you in just a second, First, you configure the Workbench plugin or the, the connector. You run the vault to connect the data and load in a demo, and then you link the data and you do your, your cards and your dashboards. So with that, I'll go ahead and, and show you how you configure it within the vault. Let me go ahead and share up and um, share my screen. So here is Domo Workbench. I've got the uh, data that I'm loading core data for a credit union. It has the PII vault source. And when I click on that to configure it, there's three different sections here. First thing I do is I configure the vault. What is this? We walk you through, and these are the details that'll come from your IT who have set things up. There's an address and there's credentials, an account ID and an API key. You test those, make sure it works. It does, you're good to go. The next thing is select the input. This particular data I'm loading from a flat file, so I've defined the parameters for the flat file. The last thing and most important step is I actually configure what the data is coming in. This is where the entire schema of your data gets automatically populated. And then for each column that is PII, you use this to define if it is PII and what type of PII it is. There's lots of different configuration options. You can, you can even customize it for yourself. Finally, you just select whether or not you want that data sent to Domo or not. Once you've configured everything here, simply validate it to make sure all the rules are correct. They are, I can save it. So apply all those changes. And now when I wanna look at it, I'll preview this data. Workbench previews up to 5,000 rows and that data it opened up on my other screen. I'm going to go ahead and run that again. It pulled down the 5,000 rows of data. It completely anonymized them. And what we see is that all the data that we wanted in Domo is present. And it has a polyanonymous ID that you can use to link data. And that's it. That's how simple it is. Fantastic. Thank you, Matt. Uh, appreciate that. And uh, really, again, so far, guys, we've walked through, uh, you know, obviously PII is a challenge to many in, in financial services uh, and what you do with it, right? Uh, and so definitely appreciate both Merge uh, and uh, Anonymatic walking through a potential solution, right, for this in the market. Um, and next, uh, what we'd like to do is just simply bring in... Um, uh, Suyesh Karki, uh, which is our uh, CISO uh, here at Domo, uh, to really just, again, 
explain what, what the business value is, right? Why is this important? Uh, and uh, after that, we're going to really open it up uh, to engage and just, you know, have some specific questions. Uh, and then we'll just have the expert that's on specific to that area, uh, be that as it may, the tech side with anonymatic, you know, how that works possibly with Domo, the implementation piece with Merge. Uh, and of course, uh, Suyesh here uh, from um, the security stance uh, for, you know, your organization specifically. So, Suyesh. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Eric. Um, hi, everyone. So uh, I think we've talked, talked a lot about how do we safeguard in a PII as you're using tools like Domo integrated with Anonymatic. Um, and, and really, I think what, what I wanted to really highlight was, okay, why do we even talk about this? Why is this important, right? And certainly, I think you know, you know the value of PII and safeguarding PII, uh, what it brings to your business and so forth. Uh, but if I were to take a step back and look at it from a high-level perspective, right, uh, you know, from a business operation standpoint, you need those PIIs to really fuel your success, right, to, to really fuel your innovation, uh, you know, shed more light on the data that you're evaluating to really grow your business, grow your relationships with, with the customers, stakeholders, partners, whoever you're dealing with. Really, it, it is very important for us to consume that PII information, analyze and get meaningful uh, you know, information out of that data. Uh, but we also need to do that security. Obviously, being in the financial services space, uh, you know it very well from a compliance standpoint, how much it means to really make sure that we're, you know, you're aligned with a lot of your compliance obligations and requirements when it comes to safeguarding and protecting data, right? Uh, certainly from a privacy standpoint, uh, you know, you're talking about GLBA, you're talking about, you know, CCPA and GDPR and, and even some HIPAA type of information uh, that all involves safeguarding PII. Um, so what we've done here really is, you know, from a DOMO standpoint, we built a platform where you should feel really comfortable you know, uh, for <clears throat> integrating with your source systems that has PII and, and bringing that over in a secure manner into our platform uh, if your business case needed PII information within Domo. But what we've also done is really empower you with, uh, you know, doing even more to safeguard that PII if that is your policy, right? Uh, we want you to use the power of Domo to use PII for your use cases, but at the same time, we also want you to be compliant with your obligations, uh, you know, regulations that you need to follow and so forth. And that is where Anonymatic, partnering with a tool like Anonymatic helps you uh, get the best of both worlds, right? Uh, you know, being able to have better control over your PII and also make sure that that PII information that you are the custodian of uh, is appropriately safeguarded in transit, uh, at rest within demo, while also allowing you to do more with that information. I think to me, that's a, that's a winning proposition, right? That should be a differentiator for you to then really take that information and, and help with the growth of your company that you're involved in. Um, really, again, I think, you know, I don't need to, need to stress on the fact that, you know, the more you're able to uh, safeguard the information that you're responsible for, including PII, the, the better, uh, trust you build with your customers, with your own employees, with your own stakeholders and partners and so forth. And more of that trust really uh, results in better success, right? Better uh, meeting of your key objectives that really define your success across your stakeholders. So um, that is why this is important. In my opinion, I think uh, this is a slam dunk when it, when it comes to, hey, I need, I need a tool like Domo to help, help me shine light on, on the data, uh, but at the same time, I need to do this securely. And, and this partnership with Anonymatic, with Domo, I think will will really help you become successful from, from both aspects. And uh, I'm very excited about this partnership and the, the solution that we're bringing uh, to customers like yourself that have high compliance obligations, as well as you know uh, more responsibility to safeguard that, that sensitive information at your disposal. Uh, so I would really encourage you to, you know, take advantage of this situation where we've got this, this tool set and, uh, you know, available to you and then let's, let's try it out and see how, how that makes sense for your use cases. If you have any questions, certainly I'm more than happy to answer it from security and privacy standpoint as well. But that's all I wanted to kind of cover today. Yeah. 
So, yes, thank you very much. Uh, certainly appreciate that. Uh, and uh, just overall, hold on one second, I took that off of there. Um, so, yeah, I, I really coming into, uh, you know, Q&A here, I'll leave up uh, Jude and I's uh, contact information too, as you have questions there as well. But uh, let's, I know there was a few in the chat and I think a lot of those have been uh, being answered there. Is that right, Jude? Let's actually go ahead and kind of walk through some of those this way. Yeah, um, okay. Everyone has a chance to kind of hear the answers and we've been texting a bit. So one of the first ones was from Girish um, and he asked, can we use your solution in an end-to-end -end test environment to mass BI across integrated application? And that is exactly what we're trying to do, right? So if, we, if we're thinking about the credit union use case, right? Um, there are several applications that should be integrated or some of them are not where uh, you have individuals showing up, but in each system and in each uh, application, they may have a, a different ID or a different user ID or different something, right? And you're just wanting to be able to get that integrated across. So that's definitely possible. And I think Neil started um, talking about that as well. Neil, do you want to maybe follow up on that for the PII vault part? Sure, I'll actually punt it over to Matt since uh, he's already introduced to you all. Okay, awesome. Okay, great. Yeah, thank you, Jude. Um, absolutely. So one of the, the capabilities that people are, are very excited about is, is, util is taking data from production systems and using it in a non-production environment. Um, and there's lots of reasons to do that. You want to use real data for your developers, your report developers in Domo. Uh, for testers, for training, for documentation. It all is just better and richer if you have real data. But of course, you don't want the real identifying details going to these other systems because that just multiplies your compliance issues and significantly opens up risk. So what we do is we provide the means either through the, the Domo plugins or, or natively to pass data through the vault and instead of redacting the identifying details, actually mask them, replacing things like names, phone numbers, email addresses with realistic looking but fake values. So the data itself can never get reverted back to uh, or, or traced back to the identifying or the person who owns that data. So yes, the answer is, is resoundingly, you can do that not only for one system, but multiple systems and have the same you know, uh, masked values for the same individual, regardless of the number of systems that data comes from. Gary, does that, does that kind of address what you were referring to? Yes, it does. Uh, I have provided uh, my contact information to Jude or to you, Jude, uh, to, to get like, you know, more after discussion. Uh, but yes, uh, that's promising to hear what, what I just heard. Awesome. Thank you for that. So any, uh, we have several other group, um, groups on here. Uh, would, you, would you guys mind? Again, I don't, I don't mean to be the teacher that calls out on everyone, but if you don't mind, maybe just letting us know, you know, what brought you over or, or, or what your thoughts are so far. That would be great, even if you don't have a specific question. Uh yeah, thanks, Jude. Uh, yeah, just overall, any other specific questions on what you saw, uh, you know, today, guys? I mean, we, we've got a good audience here, but we've also got, uh, you know, quite a few experts in the industry, be that as it may on the corporate side or not. Uh, and I see, uh, uh, is that uh, Brenna? PJ, or, you can call him PJ. Okay, making I sure I want to be I was yeah. thinking it's my name. <laughs> yeah, yeah so you. I am from uh, DLP Capital. Um, and uh, you know we have we have just started using Domo, and the, the the reason I joined this webinar was because of PII. And since we are in real estate, you know you can relate it to you. We have a lot of uh, you know personal information uh, on file, and uh, like right now we we are using dashboard internally. So you know uh, information like it's okay to have information you know evident, but mm -hmm. going forward if we want to share it to outside world, then we need to use uh, this PIA feature. And I'm glad that, you know, Domo has contributed uh, in this field. And I have, to be honest, haven't started using it yet, but like, it's good to know, like it was, it was more for information. This webinar for me was information. I had no clue uh, that, you know, how Domo are going to do that. But uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, explore more on that front. So 
on that line i wanted to ask do we need to just you know add on by ourselves or go through our point of contact from domo to get this feature you know in use if you're already a customer absolutely go through your point of contact first uh and then we'll be routed in and make sure that uh, we're able to look at at this a little more deeply for sure I great question I yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much. And uh, we certainly appreciate you being part of the Domo family there. Mm -hmm. um, anyone else, too, uh, on this side that might, uh, you know, not be a customer or maybe looking at being a customer was, you know, would love to hear some feedback as it relates to, you know, the value you saw today. Um, and, of course, any follow up questions around that. And if that is not the case, uh, feel free to, again, reach out. Uh, we have, uh, you know, several uh, uh, contacts in terms of who to put you in, in terms of the right direction there. I'll put this up one more time in terms of our contact information here. Uh, we'll route it in the right uh, direction for you as well. Um, I know we've had, uh, with putting this all together, we've had some, some questions that have kind of come up uh, around, uh, you know, fully how long would it take to, you know, implement, you know, Domo uh, around, uh, you know, just kind of an average implementation and then adding in the PII side. So real quick on that piece, um, Tony, would you try to kind of walk through that real quick uh, and just make sure that, you know, if that's a question for someone that, you know, but it obviously isn't a Domo customer yet that they can just get a good mindset of, uh, you know, what that process looks like. Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to. So if, if there's a scenario where, you know, you're interested in implementing something like this, um, we would identify kind of the strategy behind what does that use case look like? Um, when it comes to industry, you know, industries that need PII. I mean, it could be a medical field, financial services, real estate. Uh, we've, we've worked with a lot of different companies that, that have that need, even some, you know, marketing uh, agencies or marketing companies that we've worked with where they have a customer list that they want to email out, but they don't necessarily want to share all the details that they've captured from, you know, from social ads and, and different places where they've gathered some of that information. So we would just identify the use case there, um, and then we we would coordinate with with Matt and Neil at Anonymatic to you know to figure out what what your use case would be and and help you implement it from that point. Yeah, great, thank you, Tony. And a quick follow up to that: a lot of question that we get here, guys, is uh, you know, do I need a, a fully technical team internally? Uh, a lot of things that we run into with credit unions and. Uh, you know, you know, community banks is again much to what you pointed out earlier. Is there isn't a huge team, right? It might be a team of one, right? And so, um, you know, if that's certainly the case, uh, you know, Jude, tossing that over to you, how technical does a team need to be to to have that implementation strategy that Tony was just speaking through? Not at all. And that's the beautiful thing about you know Domo, and one of the reasons why I love this platform. You know, in my experience, I've worked with several platforms. I was a management consultant and analyst. So I've worked with Power BI, I've worked with Tableau, I've worked with all of them and they're great tools, but the level of skill required, the technical capability required to run them can be a bit of a daunting task. What Domo has done is it's simplified that. Just about everything is drag and drop, right? Everything from connecting your data all the way through building your dashboards and cards is drag and drop. And we've surrounded that with a comprehensive university and an approach of teaching you how to fish during implementation. So you walk away, and I, and I think our existing customers can, you know, can probably attest to that. You walk away knowing what you need to do, but also knowing that you have the support that you need uh, should you want something else down the line and just the ability to grow. So, I, I, and, and, and in working with Neil and Matt, we, we've worked to also simplify that. We wanted to make this as simple as possible, um, as easy to understand as possible, which is why we um, put it in in the way that we did. So. Definitely happy to work with anyone who wants maybe a demonstration to maybe talk through some of their current needs and skill sets or that they have at their team right now, just to see what we can do for you. And, and if I can add, uh, sorry, Eddie. No, no, please hop in. If, yeah. if I can add to Jude's comment, like I also worked with Parvi and the 
best thing I liked about uh, Domo is the ETL, you know, with Power BI, uh, you have to do ETL separately from, if you can do it in itself, like tool itself, but then it gives you latency when you try to upload it on your know, server or, you know, like on the screen. But with with uh, Domo, I found that that ETL is super fast. Like you, you do it at your own you know pace, and when once you are on the dashboard, you won't even know that your your data is being pulled by any ETL. You know, so that's that's really fancy thing I really liked about it, and I'm that's why I'm a big supporter of Domo right now. <laughs> even though I've used you know Power BI, Tableau, um, I'm still a fan of Domo. <laughs> so Great. thank you well, for that. That's wonderful feedback. Thank you so much for 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 bringing bringing that up and and driving it driving it home there. Um, guys, well, it, nothing is wrong as well. Any, go ahead, Matt. Yep. Eric, yeah, one more thing. And if I can, if I can share my screen, I want to, I want to share a little bit more of the the love here, um, the, the the Domo love. Um, one of the things, and I've been doing integrations with with different systems for a really long time. Um, and one of the things I really loved was as soon as this became available. The, the Domo team just got right behind it and, and they put together this amazing documentation that is step-by-step -step will walk you through exactly how to set up, configure There's videos for each step of the way, how to configure the vault, how to get your own trial account if that's what you wanted to do, how to download and, and install the plugin and then configure it every step of the way. It's right here holding your hand. So, you know, we're trying to make it so that it couldn't be, be any easier. And I, I think that was, was accomplished and Domo's doing a great job of that. Thank you, just wanted to, to share that as well. No, that was a great piece there, Matt, thank you. Uh, and it's never a bad thing uh, to, to give some everybody a, a few minutes uh, back in their day uh, for sure. But is there anything else that we didn't cover or any, uh, you know, last minute questions uh, from from the group. All right. Well, real quick as well. Oh, we have one more message there. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah, appreciate everyone joining today. Uh, we will be following up with you uh, if you were on here just uh, to, to share that deck with you as well. Uh, so uh, please do let us know if there are any other questions. Uh, we'll also end up uh, more than likely repurposing this video uh, and this recording. So if someone just simply wants to reach out to me and say, hey, I'd love to show this to, you know, a few uh, internally or uh, something like that. Again, uh, we certainly will make this uh, available. And uh, yeah, we appreciate everybody's time today. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, if there are any questions, please feel free to reach out. Thank you. Take care, guys. Thanks, everybody. Yep. Thank you so much.